Hi, welcome to The Real Praise. We have another special guest today, Nakia Palumbi. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Wonderful. Welcome to The Real Praise. It is a pleasure to have you here it's today. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Nakia, tell us, what brings you to The Real Praise today? I'm here to talk about what I do and why I do it. Awesome. So tell us what that is. <laughs> I am a ballerina okay. and an actress and a model. Um, I love performing. Wonderful. I had to sum it up and say I'm a performer. Okay. Tell us how did you get started as a performer? Oh my goodness. I was <laughs> probably three years old okay. and I went to see The Nutcracker with my mother. Okay. Um, and. I, I mean, I can't remember this, but she, uh, she told me that I bawled my eyes out at the end and I refused to leave the theater unless she let me be a ballerina. Okay. So I started class, I think, the next week. That's awesome. Yeah. So as a result of seeing the Nutcracker, you kind of felt within that this was something that you wanted to partake on. Mm -hmm. And how old were you? I was like three. I don't even remember it. Three years old. Mm -hmm. At three years old, and you this is you knew in an instant just from seeing that Nutcracker that this is something that you wanted to do. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about how things actually got started initially. What you did to get up to this point. Well, I started taking dance classes. Okay. Um, I started with what's now the Quad Cities Ballet in okay. Iowa. Um, and I danced with numerous companies all over the country. My dad uh, was in the Navy. He okay. is actually still in the Navy. Um, okay. And we moved several times before I graduated okay. high school. So I danced, um, I started with ballet and at about age 10, okay. I started taking jazz and modern and okay. flamenco. My dad and I actually took flamenco That's classes awesome. together. That's okay. awesome. Yeah, it was <laughs> great. Um, and then I started acting uh, Wonderful. in high school. I started doing a play and then I did musicals and I sang and I loved it. I think any successful person yes. will tell you that they have faced much more opposition than support. Absolutely. Um, and every person faces that, yes. but a successful person just learns to kind of tune it out. Absolutely. And that is, I believe, one of the biggest keys to success. Uh, you know, everybody faces... It, it's a challenge just to deal with yourself in the morning. I agree. Everybody wakes up and says, I can't really do this. Mm -hmm. Am I really going to do this? Well, I don't even feel like doing right, it today. Exactly. You're like, I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> I feel like that a lot. So, uh, nobody needs a negative influence Absolutely. telling them why they can't do it or saying, oh, yeah, it was, it was all right, but it wasn't as good as it should have been. Absolutely. Just anything negative. So you just got to tune it out and avoid it. Are there any encouraging words that you could give to our viewers, anyone that may be thinking about becoming a ballet or doing modeling or acting? Can you tell them anything that they would, would encourage them as they embark on that journey? If you put your mind to it and you really want something, it's possible. Right. You just have to find a way to make it work. I, I agree with so that. So many people, they forget that or maybe they just, they're afraid to try, they're so afraid of failure maybe that they absolutely they don't even try and that kills me because you have to try I mm -hmm. mean if you don't even attempt to pursue your dreams you'll never know and that's I think the worst thing anyone could do fear is the biggest weapon that we allow to engulf us yeah and I, what we need to understand is once we face those fears there's nothing that we can't accomplish mm -hmm. and I, I just want to say that it is so important that we recognize where the fear is coming from because the most important thing is to identify the fear yes and once we identify the fear then we can conquer it a lot of people they go within they don't take the time to say do a self-assessment why am I feeling this way mm -hmm. and I, I come to see in my experience and just dealing with people and just life in general we have the tendency to want to be validated and as a result of wanting to be validated, we allow other people to put things on us. Yes. And that can be a hindrance and a stump to our growth mm -hmm. to proceed towards our goals. So first thing is know that you're able to do all that you can, have confidence in yourself, have support from people that love you, and allow people to support you.